Hey everyone, this is NHL News Sports, and we're back in the video. Today we're looking at, on the trade deadline, positions here that teams could go after. Um, this is what teams could be it. So we have centers, wingers, defense, and goalies. Uh, what teams could be definitely actively looking for. Um, that's absolutely something that's possible. So we'll see. Uh, so, let's get into uh, the different ones. First, let's start with centers to goalies. Uh, first one. Um, the Columbus Blue Jackets. I know they probably will see if Domi gets traded. You know, Yamal Kekalaya and the GM of the Blue Jackets doesn't really, uh, you know, expose much rumors, you know, things out there. It keeps things pretty quiet. So, uh, we'll see if they add someone. They are an interesting team here in the Eastern Conference uh, looking outside. Trying to look in here um, for a playoff spot in the wild card. Uh, about eight points away from the Capitals for the second wild card spot. So they are a team that is making it a little interesting here. Uh, but still some points away uh, for making the playoffs. At least the second wild card spot. So we'll see what happens. But uh, we'll see if they add. Do they sell? Do they buy? You know, last year there were sellers. They traded the Vard. Uh, they traded Felino. Got some picks for them. First round picks for both of them, at, at least. Uh, so, we'll see what happens. But, um, Columbus could use Senos, for sure. Especially with Lina heating up. He's been great, hasn't he? Moving on now to another team. The Boston Bruins. Now, Boston um, has always been a team that could use that scoring depth. And, you know, um, losing David Krejci this year, I I'm sure he doesn't feel too good, right? You lose that second line center, you bring Troy Coyle as that second line guy who bumps up, actually. Um, but, you know, adding more centers, adding another center would be nice. You know, just some more center depth would be really uh, key to this team, which is, you know, top, top nine Depth would be just nice for this team, right? Uh, this team isn't, you know, as good as it used to be. It's okay. It hasn't been awful. But, you know, they're just, you know, not as dominant as they would uh, before. But, you know, the Bruins are all there, but we'll see if they can do something. I don't know how much they want to go out and actually be aggressive for a, you know, a center or someone like that. But we'll see. Uh, they could use someone. Yeah, Bergeron, Coyle. Um, you know, different ones like that. Holla. Holla hasn't been the best this year, so I don't know. Maybe they trade Holla. Maybe they could put a pick or two on there or something. They upgrade down the middle. We'll see what happens. Many things could happen, right? Moving on to the Wild. And the Wild are a great team. Goaltending, defense, uh, forwards, you know. Um, really surprised. Not surprising, but really. You know, a breakout player has been Ryan Hartman playing down the middle. Um, just really like, wow. Uh, really interesting how's that turned out. You know, he was supposed to do that with the Blackhawks, sort of, his potential, but he has shown that with the Wild. Bounced around until he got to the Wild, you know, Nashville, Philly, the Stars. I don't think he even played for the Stars. He got traded there for nothing. But, um, Hartman's been great. You have Eric Neck, fantastic. Uh, good two-way guys there. You got a couple guys there, but you can still use that another guy just down the middle. You know that you could add like a Claude Giroux. I know Claude Giroux said he's willing to go to the wild. I know he wants to go to the Avalanche or uh, other ones, preferably other ones out there. Wild, the Blues, but uh, he hasn't really said he wants to be traded from Philadelphia either. So we'll see what happens. But, um, the Wild could use, like, a Claude Drew there, right? Or Chris Tierney, Ben Rumot, he could go to the Wild. Some more, you know, staple down the middle for them. For sure. Moving on to the Wingers. Uh, what teams could use uh, Wingers out here? Um, here's one. Um, the New York Rangers. Now, Rangers could add a... A bunch of stuff here. They do have cap space. Uh, defense now these days. I could see them add something. I'll get to it eventually. Um, but like. I know I don't put the Rangers on here for defense at all. Just a little sneak peek. But they really set at defense. Goaltending they'll set. Unless you want to trade a good give or something. I don't know. 
um, if they want to, but it's really not, you know, necessary, um, because the Stukin is the, you know, resident caliber guy and maybe heart trophy guy too. So, um, they could add someone, you know, you look at the team, the top nine could use another top nine guy, um, whoever that might be, um, uh, before we rumored about Riley Smith, but now Stone on the LJ off with his back, you know, different things for the Golden Knights, that's been pushed aside knowing Riley Smith would probably stay with the Golden Knights, right? So, um, I was thinking, just came to my mind, how about like a Jonas Donskoy to the Rangers, add to that top nine, um, play on that, that third line, add to the team, they don't want to add you know, you could add another guy also, but I thought add a guy like that would be cool. Like a Don Scoy, um, just someone who can play that top nine, who can help you in the playoffs. Um, because, you know, because the Rangers play the Penguins, you know. Uh, that That's the thing you got to wonder about, and both the teams would be upset now. Moving on to the second round, obviously. Uh, who would be more desperate, of course, the Penguins over the Rangers. But both teams would be upset if they did not move on to the second round, obviously. So, we'll see what happens, for sure. Moving on to the next team. I'm not going to stay on this one too long. We already talked about the Bruins. But the Bruins could use a top six winger, a top six, uh, or a top nine winger, top six... Uh, I mean, top nine winger or center, I meant to say. So, something like that to add. Um, knowing Jake DeBrusque is a guy who wants to be traded. Still wants to be traded lately. He's been a little bit better lately. But a guy who wants to be traded. Can you trade for another guy for a top nine? I don't know if you can. We'll see if that's possible. What they're going to do. But um, they could add, for sure. Um, we'll see what happens. For sure, I don't know, but they definitely could use more scoring. And like I said, we'll see what happens. They want to get someone in the playoffs, make an upset against whoever that team might be. It might be um, the Hurricanes. It could be the Panthers. Or they're in that wild card spot potentially. So we'll see. Um, I don't know. It's so interesting. Teams moving around in the Eastern Conference in the playoff spots right now a lot. So it's hard to say who the Bruins would play at this moment, right? So, uh, moving on to the other team. And that's the uh, Los Angeles Kings. Uh, Los Angeles could add another top six guy, top nine. Um, just to add, they are a team in the playoffs. They are a team that says, the rebuild is over. We know that. We are a team that wants to win now and nothing but. Right now, um, they are a team that said, hey, we did our rebuilding, it's time to win. And right now, the Kings are actually in a really good spot in the West, in that Pacific Division. Um, of course, Calgary has 21 points, leading the division. Uh, right behind them, well, not really right behind them, but, you know, some points behind them. Is the Kings at 65 points, then the Oilers at 64. So you see that the uh, Kings get second point. Uh, spot in the uh, Pacific Vale, which is really good, um, which is really interesting too. So good for them. Um, they could add that top six winger. I know they add uh, Alfredson. They could add another winger for sure, right? So we'll see what happens. And the next one. The Toronto Maple Leafs, and this has been rumored and rumored they want a top six guy, top nine guy. And when they traded from Arizona, um, Nick Ritchie, second round pick, conditional, 2023, 2020, oh, um, second round pick of 2025, potentially, uh, third round pick of 2023, that whole thing, right? Uh, but, 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 remember this, um, Lubuskin to the Leafs, Ryan Dezingle to the Leafs, and people are saying, when uh, they uh, waved the Zingle and the Sharks picked it. Oh, that was the top nine guy they are going to use. But I, I don't know what you mean by that because he's not really a top nine guy now these days. I like the Zingle what he did in Ottawa after that. Really hasn't done much. But, you know, you never know. I, I don't know. Really. So, um, you know, it definitely wasn't the Zingle because they have to. They waved him if they were thinking he was a top nine guy. They would have kept him. So they could definitely use a top six guy, um, whoever that might be. Looking at Sony players, you know, the least are linked to Ben Sherratt, 
um, you know, from that to, you know, whoever, you know, and they'll also, um, I'll get to the defense, uh, soon too, but, you know what I mean? It's just really interesting. So, we'll see what happens, who they add, you know, obviously they want to make it past that first round to the second round, much needed, overdue at this point, right? So, we'll see what happens. Moving on to the defense. And um, the Kings could use defense. They really can. Um, they're a team that just wants to you get that rebuilding. You know, when you go through rebuild, you think about the team. You, um, some positions you just draft really well. And that, for example, is the Kings. They have drafted really well down the middle. Um, you think of Byfield, uh, Turka, um... Velardi, uh, Velardi could be traded, actually. Um, you have Kupari, you have, um, it's now starting to draw a blank, now these times. But, uh, you know what I mean, um, Anderson Dolan, yeah, you have some guys, and guys who are on the team at this moment. Kopitar, you know, Kempe plays more on the wing, but, you know what I mean, this team has good centers. And then you have the weaknesses during your rebuild, you know, oh, I didn't drive enough. Uh, draft enough, enough of these guys, maybe on defense, uh, last year they actually uh, drafted Brian Clark, what a great pickup that is, but, thinking back here, they need help on defense, and you know what, you draft, you do the things you need to, you have strengths and weaknesses, you might use a little of your strength, and use that into your weakness, maybe you trade a center or two, um, you know, something just to bolster your defense a little bit more. So, uh, could that be like a Jacob uh, Kitchen from Arizona? Absolutely, that would be fantastic. One thing so nice about Jacob Kitchen is that he's about 4.5 million. What a deal that is for the talent he brings. That is a fantastic contract to have on your team. He's easily 7 8 million buck contract. Easily, if you sign now. 4 million? I'm telling you, when the cap goes up, that's a bargain. So just saying. Another team could be interested in, interested in Jake Kitchen. Uh, Jacob Kitchen, my bad. As he, uh, out there has been rumored for sure. Florida. And they could use. Not, you know, like, oh my goodness, they really need him. But, you know, this team's already ridiculously amazing. The Panthers. If they add Kitchen to that, that's like, wow. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. Um, it, it's just, you know, the Panthers adding Kitchen would be just like, wow. Or just like a defenseman. Even if it's not Kitchen at this moment, I mean, they treat him in the off for, at the off season, they get him or something. Just someone else, um, the bolster the defense. Even thinking about the Kings, how about Ben Sherratt? Uh, I know the Panthers have been talking about Ben Sherratt. You know, someone plays in the top four. Obviously, maybe he doesn't play in the top four. He might play in a third pairing. But he knows how to get to the finals. He knows how to win games. He knows how to gut out those games. Um, he's just that guy. And he's playing absolutely well this season. You have to sign him after the season, right? You don't have to. 3.5 million. Montreal might be, um, you know, happy to say, all right, 50% retained. There you go. Or I have a third, you know, three-team trade. Uh, percent off. Another percent off, another team takes, and then it goes to your team. So, I don't know. Maybe he's about one half, two million at the end of the day. Yeah, shot for, which is a bargain. So, um, you might have to give a first round pick, obviously, and a solid prospect. But if you want to go on a deep playoff run and beat some tough teams, Sherratt's out there, and he'll play that game for you. So, um, just saying, he's definitely a guy. Moving on to another team. I threw this one in here because the Canucks are a team that needs defense. Um, you know, obviously, could they be a bio seller that's really, you know, is still up in the air? Are they making the playoffs or are they not? Um, you know, they're there and then they're not. They're having, you know, back and forth, you know, a little troubles. You know, do you sign Brock Besser to that qualifying offer over $7 million? Do you think he's worth that? Do you not think so? Do you trade Garland instead? Do you trade J.T. Millo? If you trade one of those guys, I would want a defenseman back the other way. Yes, back the other way to add to that defensive core because they need help on that defense. Absolutely. So we'll see what happens. Just saying. 
That's why I put that one out there. Another team that could help, use help on defense, and Kyle Dubas has said it today, and he knows he's going to have to find someone than just Ilya Labushkin. Right? The Maple Leafs. Who is that? Is it Josh Manson? Is it Hampus Lindholm? Is it Ben Sherratt? Is it someone we just kind of don't, you know, really think about? Um, you know, um, who can that be? Um, you think out there, let's see, um, off the top of my head, some free agents on defense for next year. Just some guys. You don't want them too long of deals because then you're going to be like, oh my goodness, it's too long. Then you're not going to be able to pay for them, right? So, um, let me just change the position here on defense and then add the results. Okay. Would you add a Subban? Uh, you know, you want more of a solid defensive guy. I wouldn't add Subban at all. Where's the line? I don't know about that. Um, hmm. Ooh, it's a door, but oh, never mind. That's my fault. I know Cal is going to keep him. <laughs> um, Mark Stahl would be an interesting one, but I think he wants to stay with the uh, Red Wings. You know what I mean? Um, this not many out there, you know, really to say. Um, let's Mark Giordano. Do you do Mark Giordano? 6.5 million, but you can do a three-team trade. And retain a salary. That's an option, right? The trade, for sure. And moving on to the last one. Dallas. Now, if they trade John Hyde. Oh, uh, clean book. Hey, the Leafs could go for John clean book. Look at that. Um, that's a possibility, right? So, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe the Stars trade for Jeff Petrie. You know, what if clean book's gone? You got a first round pick, a solid prospect, but you need something to fill in quickly. Is that Jeff Petrie, 34 years old, who just signed a four million, I mean, six million buck contract for four years? Do you want him? Or do you not? So, yeah, that's just a question, you know, if you get rid of Klingberg, that's a big hole in your lineup. Even though you have Milo Heiskanen, you still need someone else on your defense. Not just Milo Heiskanen, right? That is great. So, we'll see what happens, for sure. Moving on to goalies who could use um, a goalie, right, to get fall in the playoffs. And that's the Colorado Avalanche. They have Dawson Kemper. They have Pavel Flansos. But I feel like they're still in that guy. The, you know, just the... I don't care they just go with three goalies. They don't have to trade Kemper. They don't have to trade Pavel Flansos. I'm not saying that. Just add that one more guy. Add that one more guy who has that experience. You know, I would say Floyd, but now it's looking like he's staying in Chicago. But I don't know. Uh, they could use someone. They really could. Um... And we'll see what happens, but, you know, do they trade for, you know, who's the trade, you know, really, but they could definitely use a goalie, absolutely, do they trade for, like, a Sam Sonoff, maybe Washington's like, hey, we'll trade Sam Sonoff, maybe Montreal's like, hey, we'll trade Jake Allen, how much do you want from him, do you want him instead, with, I, I don't know, what would you like, right, we're on to another team. The Capitals, I know there's been a mock trade or some rumors about Lekkanen, uh, like Allen going to the Capitals, getting that power four, getting that two-way guy, and then that goalie, and then like Sam Sarnoff back the other way and something, you know. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what the Capitals do. But they looking like they have to be more aggressive than they anticipated at the deadline to keep themselves in a playoff spot and not just... A wild card spot. They want to get into that top three, right? You don't want to be playing, you know, a tough game. And then you got to be, you know, you got to play Carolina, you know, the Panthers. Who wants to do that? But I know the Rangers and Penguins aren't going to be too easy either, right? So, we'll see what happens. Uh, moving on to next, the Oilers, lastly. They could use a goalie. I don't think the Koskinen and Smith duo is the best, right? You know what I mean? Um, to, let's just say, let's see the Oilers make the playoffs, right? If they can hold that spot, oh, it would be nice. We'll see, but, you know, Holland's got to be a little, you know, 
hey, if we need a goalie, we might have to spend some heel to get ourselves somewhere in a good position. Right? I, you know, who could that goalie be? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, could it be Allen? Do, you know, does Holland want to pay that? You know, he gets cheaper at times. Like, oh, I don't know if I want to pay that. I don't know. It really is up to that. Like, well, how much does he want to pay? Sam Sarnoff would be great for the Capitals, but how much will the Oilers have to pay? You know, that's the thing. How much are the Oilers willing to give up? I don't know. We'll see. So, thank you for watching. And I talk to sports. We'll get to 500 subs. And I'll see you next video. Bye.